YouTube, what's going on? In today's video, we got part two of the 2023 Supercross prep it's tracks, the test tracks. This is created by uh, Erax. If you guys watch part one, I appreciate you guys for real. Uh, in part two, we're going to go over tracks four, five, six, seven, and nine. Round eight is uh, Daytona, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it's Daytona, um, yeah. which I have exciting news. He has part two of this series coming out soon because he already has it in the works. Um, I'm going to be testing that tonight for sure. Um, but yeah, this is this is round four. This is going to be A2. This one's actually kind of interesting because look, at it crosses over the start. Um, oh. it, it doesn't really... By the way, this start is the world's longest hole shot, it looks like. It's like after... It's like a full U. Is it really? I, well, the line said... If you look at the track map, it look, you just go around. Oh going. my god, it, it is. It keeps going. It keeps going. Holy keeps shit. Going. This is and it's right here. I did not expect that. Not expect that. That's uh oh. Let's see if Freezy can still pull that off. I saw An that extra uh, corner for him. I saw that in the World Supercross. If you guys watched that, I still gotta watch that. Um I saw that he um took out Justin Brayton and Justin Brayton got upset about it. So I mean I want to go back and see what happened there. I guess it was a takeout. I, I didn't even know that. Uh, or I guess a block pass that Vince Freeze did on Justin. So, um, but yeah, this track is kind of cool. It goes over the start right here. You haven't had this happen. I feel like how this is, there's like multiple ways you're going over the start um, in a while. Um, I just did the same thing I did before the video started. I jumped into these whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, this uh, is uh, round really four, A2. I really haven't put too much time on this track specifically. Like you can see I'm kind of a noob i'm crashing everywhere um but in part what two me shit <laughs> um but yeah big shout out to erax for making all this happen um i've just learned that tfc is not going to be doing these track maps anymore um yep so erax should like take this off and then like do the tfc thing do it every week I and mean, so they're all raceable Erax, you heard it here first. You should try to do that now that TFC is not doing this. Um, or, yeah, at least just make them a single track so you can race them. The compound's sick, so if you just want like, to chill and practice all of them. But, like, people kind of live to race in this game. I mean, and yeah, you sucks. could. You can only race the one. Honestly, he could do that. He could literally just drop, yeah. drop the compounds, right? And then go back in and just make it a, a 1v1. Gated, not 1v1 yeah. yeah, just one gate per round. Um, Honestly, that might be the play if people wanted to do this. Um, and like I said, TFC is not doing anymore, Erax. So that's your play to do this. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I think that's what Erax was worried about. He didn't want to take the shot like Shadow, TFC, or take his Thunder. Yeah. But um, it's not happening anymore. So, so what no TFC will steel. be doing is... So we learned that he's going to be making the outdoor tracks for PDMX, the aerial series. You guys seen some videos I did on the channel. Um, so he's going to be making all that. Uh, so that should yep. be interesting. Thank God. Fuck you, Nub. Don't tell me otherwise. I mean, Nub likes Stone's tracks. Zuggy Bear over here hates Stone's tracks. Well, no. Um, okay, the thing that Nub said, he doesn't, he didn't race the whole thing series because he said the tracks were ass. But then he's like bitching at TFC. So Nub's just a bitch in outdoors. So let's just say that. That is true. Nub only is good in indoors. Nub, come fight me. I dare you. Um, but, but yeah. So that should be interesting. To, to say the least, I'm excited because I know TFC makes really good outdoor tracks. If you guys have ever uh, played Iron Man 2018, that's his track. Um, Polita V2 is also his track, um, which Red is... Bud. Red Bud's his? Oh, I guess, yeah, Red Bud is. Yeah, and um, um, what's Unadilla? Unadilla is all... Is Unadilla's TFC's? Pretty sure. Holy moly, I did not know the that. Man, the man's the GOAT, and no one's respecting the GOAT. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if he made Unadilla. Fact check it. <laughs> Fact check it. Like, check pretty it. sure. I don't think he did, to be honest. I could be wrong, though. I could be completely wrong. Um, But we're on round five now, so I just transferred over to round five. Round five is NRG, Texas. This is the one that's a football stadium, and the, the start line is a cross football stadium um instead of going down the sh down the, like the football length which is so sick i don't think you really see that that often so i'm definitely excited for that uh this is where you start to get into 
the rhythm sections where they're i guess the tracks where he built for 250s and 450s um oh no excuse me this was still the 450 build i, I just fucked that up still 450. oh i didn't maybe not but uh this is what is that on off holy shit yeah <laughs> you can totally tell this one was made for 450s now i stupidly yeah, this one's huge now, but this is honestly one of the biggest ones it feels like yeah I don't know why. Are why the corner so flat? Why am I going sideways in the whoops? I freaking suck in the whoops. Holy crap. Um, but with that being said, I still think this is a pretty cool one. I like this little table, sideways hip jump table. I think that's pretty sick. Got a massive triple on right there. I can't even get it. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to triple out of that, but there's no possible way you're going to be tripling out of that on a 450. You need like a 500 at least. We'll do one more lap to see if we can, but I don't I don't think we're going to be able to do that. But uh, this track is pretty sick. I like the layout of this a lot. If you guys watched, um, I don't know. I think it was in my uh, announce, not announcement video, but I, maybe I did it on stream. But I, I talked about the Supercross tracks, and I really thought this one was going to be fire because of how the layout is. So I'm excited to That's see this cool. play out in um, real life, but I'm also excited to see this play out in bikes. Um, it should be interesting. This dog over here struggling his ass off. But this is definitely one of my favorite layouts for sure. If I can get over that, yep. Yeah, see, there's no possible way you're tripling that. Maybe you can. You could probably triple out of that as well. But NRG, I'm definitely excited to see this play out. And please don't let me crash in the whoops. Okay, there we go. Finally, we made it through the whoops good. Holy shit. I messed that up though. Little hip jump table i kind of like that a lot but but going back to uh tfc he's going to be making the the outdoor tracks i'm excited to say the least because i think all of his tracks are like raceable like iron man they race so good i don't know why people yeah are like, about it they one, actually rate you can race one of my favorite tracks is polita v2 and i know he created that and it's absolutely heat. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's absolute heat. So, um, wait, are you talking about the grayed out kind of looking one? Yeah. Didn't he create that? That's, that's the OG one. That's the OG one. Oh. V2 is the other one. Oh, the OG one, whatever the OG one is. Um, it's, it's just Polita. It's fire, dude. All I gotta say is it's fire. So I'm excited for TFC. I'm not excited. I'll, I'll be straight up with you guys. I'm not excited one bit that it's going to be on the bike shop. Um, I would much rather support TFC in general and have him go through his own site because the bike shop doesn't really have that good of a reputation right now and I'm kind of afraid for it. Um, I'm not a lot of people, I'm not going to speak for anybody else, but I, I just don't want- I mean, you're speaking for me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm speaking for Zuggy Bear, but I'm just going to be honest, I don't like the, the bike shop. Um, I don't think- Kill on the game. <laughs> I, I, I like Watch pay tracks. Shirt. I, I don't mind paid tracks. It's like a DLC. I understand that. I understand that full concept. I don't mind DLC content. However, I wish there was another site. I feel like it's just chalk in the game with what's happening right now. And um, it's just unfortunate. I just front flipped. No, I didn't. It's just unfortunate. Um, so I'm not, I'm kind of bummed that it's going to be on this, the site shop. I wish TFC was able to make his own thing happen. Um, I, yeah, I know he was trying. Yeah, I know he was like, trying probably. to do that. So I understand why he, why he just felt like it was probably easier just to go drop it on the bike shop. He doesn't have to worry about the, the lock system. He doesn't have to worry about any of that nonsense, which totally makes sense. I totally understand that. Um, I just wish he was able to do it by himself. That way we didn't have to go through that. And that's yeah, just probably my opinion. In the long run, he's going to be making more money since he's doing a 23 series. Yeah, and I think if the 23 series goes well, you can definitely see him doing the 24 series and so forth. So, yeah. Um, one thing to say though, shout out to Stone for creating the 2022 20, series. I know there's a lot of hiccups, um, a lot, a lot of hiccups, a lot of weeks that we didn't do the tracks, but he still put the time and effort to do all the tracks. Were they our favorites? Absolutely not. Hell no. But you got to give it up for his uh, effort and the whole crew over there for just trying to do it every single week. Um, so big shout out yeah, to those they guys. Tried. Yeah, definitely tried. Um, we're gonna move down here to round. We're gonna go back this way, round seven, which is um, I don't even know. I'm gonna be honest. That was Tampa Bay, the track that we were on with the sand. 
this one is arlington over here way the hell over here um but yeah big shout out to those guys but i'm just not excited that it's on the bike shop um a lot of hiccups with that and it's unfortunate i really wish that he was able to do it himself um figure out a way to do it himself but at the end of the day i understand his decision one thing i would say is i really hope that the next the future series are paid for this paid for the pay for the series and not pay for the tracks i think that will yeah. help the game grow and then you get like a percentage for making the track from the entry fees i think that would be the play however since the since the tracks are going to go on the bike shop i know that's not going to happen right i just that's not how they intended the it. game is too young or too small to already be making people pay for tracks he I agree. It's not big enough yet. I think the way that Sim has it is the perfect way to go. Um, yeah. I've been talking to, uh, who was it? I think it was B. He was mentioning me how a Sim does. Um, Sim, basically, you pay for an entry for the series, and then you get the track for free, and then it gets a percentage out of the, the entry fees. Uh, you go directly to the creator of the track, creator of the series, um, and everybody involved. So I think that's the way it needs to be ran, uh, because... If you're buying for a track, I just don't think... One thing I don't like about it is not everybody's going to want to buy the track first off. And then for, say, content purposes, for, like, lobbies and stuff, like, for streams and stuff like that, like, newbies that want to just join up, they don't want to spend money on tracks, right, that we want to ride. They want to have fun with everybody that's involved, and they want to have fun doing it for free. Um, that's why I think the free model and donating is ah shit i messed that up and donating is like the best play in this game so far uh i think that's like the best way to go because every new player is not going to go buy a track or buy a compound um for any price it doesn't matter what it is if you're new to a game are you buying a dlc if you if you make money sure right but if you're a 15 year old or less you're not making any money so you're probably not going to go buy a dlc pack right unless like you get somehow you get your parents credit card which is not right but revise it yeah so I, I think the model the best model to go honestly is just pay for an entry fee and then the tracks are free i just honestly i think that's the best way to go i think a lot of people think that way just not me um because i've had this conversation about it a lot on streams off streams i ran out of gas ripped my life but this is uh arlington We'll come back, go to the pitch real quick, go back, and go back down to the last one over here, which is Indy. Um, but just going back to it, I mean, we've had a lot of conversations about it, and I don't think that model works right now. Maybe if the game blows up, maybe it becomes like one of the best motocross games in the game. It, it, the possibility is there, 100%. The possibility is 100% there. I just don't see it right now, which is unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it's not our decision to do the series. It's not our decision to make those decisions. Um, so you gotta just, basically you just gotta um, just live with it, deal with it, right? If you wanna play the series, you gotta do what uh, they're doing, which is, which sucks. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. But that's my opinion on all the paid tracks, as well as like the series coming up. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I know I'm, we're just ranting about it, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. This is 2023 Indy round nine. Ooh. And this is the last one on this compound. I'm amazed we made it this far. I'm not gonna lie. But this is the last one on this compound. You guys might find this familiar because Fat Muppet actually just dropped one as well on this track. But and we're gonna make a we're gonna try to make a video on that one as well. So um, but I wanna say a big shout out to Iraqs for allowing us to ride this early as well. I keep saying as well. I gotta stop that as well that's just that was on purpose but big shout out to Iraq for uh dropping this or as well oh my god i almost said it big shout out to Iraq <laughs> for dropping this it's a lot of fun well. i really i really enjoy the compound um i think it gives us a variety of things to do with it so many different tracks i'm excited oh. for part two which you guys will see eventually but i'm definitely excited for part two uh, I was excited for part one. This one's awesome. So big shout out to Erax um, and everybody involved. If you guys want to support him, make sure you guys go to the link in the description below. Um, hopefully he has a PayPal on this so he can get some donos because he definitely deserves it for putting time and effort into this. So I'll try to 
I'll try to see if that link is there. I don't know if it is, but just just in general, big shout out to Erax. Big shout out to Zuggy Bear for hopping in here with me, uh, yes, making this sir. video, ranting about different random shit. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. And we'll catch you guys back here in the next MX video, MX Bikes video, um, and the future of the content. I don't know why the hell I said future of the content. It makes absolutely no sense. But I appreciate you guys for real. Much love. I'm out.